little cousin that I'm doing. And you hubby too. How y'all living, fam? It is Thursday up in this biatch. I should have known that shit. Y'all know, on the way to the gym, about to get my workout on. About to do biceps and back, and I'm hoping some sprints if I can swing it. Y'all, I'm still at 100%, but I do feel better, way better than I did last night or yesterday, most of the day. I literally was in the bed all day, all day. I was still, you know, working, but I was trying to in between work, you know what I mean? So, yeah, y'all, your girl ugh, was struggling. I don't want to say it's the meat that I purchased, but it could very well be the meat that I got or the spices that were put in it. Um, taco meat seasoning doesn't do very well with juice, so I may have had a reaction to it. That's how I feel. I, that's how it feels to me. So I'm going to lay off that um, batch of ground turkey. Juice hasn't seemed to have any reaction to it, so um, which is odd because usually he does, but he did not. Otherwise, he would have been said, I ain't eating that shit. You know what I mean? Because you all know he's sensitive to spices. But I feel like that's what kind of kind of messed me up a little bit. Not that the meat was bad, that there was just a lot of... It was, I didn't, I didn't even put a lot of um, seasoning in the meat as far as the taco meat seasoning because I always try to lay off because juice reacts to it. You know what I'm saying? So I only put a little bit, but something didn't sit well with me at all. That's what I'm thinking. So yeah, um, back is feeling a lot better. I actually slept on the couch yesterday and um, because honestly that bed is kicking my ass lately. These last few days the bed has been kicking my ass. Yesterday I was stretching my back most of the day when I wasn't laying down trying to, you know, feel better. It's been a while. I haven't been this much in pain back wise in a long time. I mean, I, I don't even remember ever feeling that much pain in my back. So <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to try to see if I can get adjusted or get a massage. She keeps telling me to get massages. So I might just see if I can squeeze in and get a massage before I head out of town. Maybe that might loosen me up a little bit. I don't know. But um, I don't know. I don't know what was going on. I'm just like, Ugh. and then my stomach's not 150%. I've been having my, um, I've been taking the, uh, apple cider vinegar, you know, which you guys know I'm really sensitive as it is, and it's not the best tasting thing in the world, but I always, you know, dilute it with some kind of, usually orange juice, you guys already know. So I took that this morning before I ate breakfast and stuff, and, um, you know, that's pretty much it. I had tacos yesterday, again, the same meat, so uh, I'm not, like I said, I'm not feeling that bad like I was yesterday, but I also didn't sleep in the bed last night for that very reason. I wanted to make sure that my back was better, and, um, you know, that kind of just lay on my back a little bit. For some reason, the couch feels better than the bed. And it's obviously because of the mattress. So I am probably when we get back and look into switching the mattress. Um, I know we probably need to flip the mattress over at some point. So we're probably going to do that in the meantime. But we have so many things we got to get done to the house. So, um, you know, we're going to see how that all goes. But regardless, your girl is heading out to work out, get her workout on. Um, hopefully I feel better after the workout and I don't feel like I did yesterday. I don't know. Ugh. I am so over this cold weather, y'all. It's not freezing today, but it's still cold and it's like, my God, can we get some spring weather? I think that's part of me being like, blah. Like, I'm so over just the cold. I know I say this every other day, but I'm just so sick of this damn weather, honestly. I just wish it would just warm up a little bit. We would start to have some nicer weather. I'm so ready for the weather to change. So hopefully the weather's nice in Dallas when we go down there. Although I know you guys have some um, crazy weather too. But I'm hoping it gets better. Either way, I'm about to get this workout on. About to get my shit done. Um, yeah, so um, I'm kind of stuck behind somebody here. Okay. Anyway, I'm actually going to be on time today, which is good. So yeah, man. How's everybody doing? How's the fam doing, y'all? Look, I know you're probably like, damn, she ain't even 100%. I'm not 100%. I'll be real about that. So I don't know how these sprints are going to go, but I'm going to try to push through them in hopes that I don't yak or something. I don't know. Jeez. And of course, you know, I have not, I'm not a person that does very well with being nauseous at all. That's just not, I hate the nauseous feeling. And that's exactly what I felt. So, ugh. I don't know. Today my stomach's just sensitive. It's not nauseous. It's just sensitive. Um, I felt too. I felt nauseous for five seconds today, and then I ate something and then I felt a lot better. So I was nauseous for two seconds, and then I ate something. So um, and I didn't really eat very much yesterday. I had the tacos, and then I had some any earlier that that mid afternoon just to eat something because I hadn't had anything to eat for real that day. But that was really it. I didn't have like enough meals yesterday at all. So I know I was hungry when I woke up this morning. 
other than that y'all I'm coasting I'm gonna try to just get through today god but I hope you guys are having a great week great day great night whenever you guys are watching this video right here I promise y'all I'm gonna get these videos up at a reasonable time I know I've been getting them up, up really late um, I have been so inundated with stuff that I need to get knocked out and done before I leave and then you know yesterday kind of fucked me up a little bit you know and I'm sorry about the short vlog yesterday honestly I just there was nothing to vlog but to just sit there in the bed and say my black ass wasn't feeling good at all so I apologize for the short ass vlog yesterday so I just want to get better and so you know I take my vitamins all the time and all that stuff I've done everything I'm supposed to do so we're gonna see we're gonna hopefully feel better after this workout she may take it easy on me knowing because I texted her and I told her what was happening yesterday of course the first thing she thought she's like oh my god are you pregnant I'm like no I'm not pregnant seriously I haven't taken a test or anything but there's no way I could be pregnant I you know I'm just saying I mean not not to be TMI but I just recently had my my periods so it can't be that at all that I know for sure so it's not that because I know people are gonna automatically think that <laughs> but um, I know Jessica first thing she said oh my god I'm like no I'm not I'm not um, but God if that's what it's like nausea blah and I know people have nausea when they get pregnant but y'all your girl's gonna suffer if that's the case. Ain't nobody trying to be nauseous now, nigga. This nigga right here does not like to be nauseous. I am not good with nausea. You guys know, my stomach, ridiculously sensitive to everything. So, yeah, you know how that goes. Anyway, I am here. We're gonna get this day started. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see y'all in a bit. What's up, y'all? Look, I did not have a chance to shoot the workout because Tyron is on the phone on a phone interview he's getting ready to shoot next week and not shoot fight next week so he's over there on the phone uh, on a uh, couple of interviews so yeah so needless to say I couldn't shoot our workout today however I am on the treadmill just doing a little bit of a cool down slash little mini cardio session so got our workout done but yeah, got to get a little bit of cardio in. So I'm just going to be on an incline for a little bit and uh, just try to get a little cardio, stretch the muscles out a little bit and uh, work out some of this lactic acid I done built up from the workout since we just did weights primarily today because she didn't want to do too much because she knew I wasn't feeling good. So anyway, we're pushing through it, y'all. Got to do it regardless. <sighs> anyway, so I will hit y'all when I get back to the cribbo. What's up, y'all? So your girl's feeling a little bit better. I think I did need to get a little workout in and I don't know, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling that great getting up today either and uh, definitely feeling better now. So got my workout on, got on the treadmill and did some cardio, so that felt really good. And um, now your girl is at Target, as you could probably already tell. And I came here because I need to pick up some, uh, some paper towels because we desperately need them. I gotta go home, take the dogs out again, and uh, just kind of um, regroup. I've got a whole bunch of stuff I gotta get sent out and emailed and stuff, and then we've gotta package some more things for the blog sale. By the way, don't forget to check out the blog sale. The blog sale has some new items on it, so check out the link down below. It's at the top of the description box. But um, anyway, I came to get a couple of items that I'm gonna need. I know I'm gonna have to make this trip again as it gets closer to the trip itself, but I definitely need paper towels before the, the day or the week is up. There's no damn way I can make it without it because the dogs and because Juice uses them all the time too. Um, I also need some face products and stuff, but I'm gonna wait until, until closer to when we leave and stuff. So yeah, anyway, feeling a lot better, a lot better now, a shit ton better. So I am, uh, Gonna look down here a little bit because there is actually one thing that I need to get, and I'm hoping it's here. Actually, I'm hoping. We'll see. It may not be. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see if it's here. I don't think I'm in the right aisle. And then, uh, then I'm gonna get out of here, put the dogs out, and just kind of lay low so that I don't start feeling sick again. Lord knows, and it could very well be just a random bug versus it being the uh, spices in the turkey. I just don't ever react to that type of stuff. So that's why I'm like, ugh. So it is what it is. What can you do? I don't think it's here. 
Hmm. Anyway, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and get these uh, to uh these uh, paper towels real quick and uh, get out of here. Uh, let's see. Nope. Anyway, let me go ahead and run and get these damn paper towels. <laughs> these dead god dogs, y'all, for reals. Come on, eat, 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 eat. Good boys, good boys. Just took them out. They actually were playing a little bit, and now they're here. I'm about to feed them some more. I'll give them some food and water. Let me get you some more water, baby, okay? Let me give you some more water, babies. Come on. Lord. There you go. They're thirsty. They've been outside playing, having a good old time. Bam. Yeah, you guys can see. When they've been outside. They've been just barking at every single person that walks by. It's really cute, actually. Best thing in the entire world was for us to get that steak outside. We have like a little steak, and I don't know if I might have mentioned it yesterday, but a steak that you put into the ground, and then we connect their leash to the cord that's on it, and it's just long enough for them to be able to go run around and play. It's really long, so you can actually they can actually come in the house because the cord is that long. So <laughs> you have to eat, babes. Eat, 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 eat. So yeah. Eventually we're going to be teaching them more commands and then I'm going to get some beds for them as well because I want them to kind of get accustomed to chilling because the minute they come into the house, all they do is run after each other, which I know eventually, you know, they'll grow out of some of that. They will run no matter what because now we've got a dog that has a playmate, which we didn't have. We would actually run after Chewy and he would run after us. You know, that was his little time to play when he wasn't outside, you know, but... Yeah. They're so funny. Anyway, they're so cute. They're a lot though. I'm not even gonna lie. Having two dogs ain't no damn joke. But once they get completely trained where I can trust them in the house, it'll be a whole hell of a lot easier. And then we figure out where we're gonna put their food because I don't want them to continue to come in here to eat, which is kind of what they're accustomed to. They know to kind of come back here when it's eat, eat. And I may be able to do it where they have their food in here. I may, but you know, this is kind of where we started to potty train them on the pads a little bit. So I'm kind of nervous that they'll just do what they do in this bathroom, so. That's why I'm happy we have that little thing on, on the outside because now they know the minute they come out their crate, they go straight to the door and then I connect them to their leash and they can play outside a little bit and it's nice and it gives us a little bit of reprieve from having to go out there with them, okay, because it's still cold outside essentially. Although I went out there with them today a little bit too. But it's nice, they get some good exercise, so. Hi baby, I love you. This is, this is, this is. This is dad. This is mommy's girl. Mommy's girl. Mommy's boy. Hi. Yes. Love my babies. I love my babies. I love them. They're so cute. Yes, you are. I love the boo bush. I love the boo bush. I love the boo bush. Okay. Eat, eat. Okay. Eat, eat. Eat, eat. No. No. Eat, eat. Eat, eat. Okay. You can't go with mommy. Cannot go with mommy. Okay. Do you feel naive, my niggas? Do your fizz night. Get, Gizmo gets out every time. He'll try to get out. He always does. Anyway, about to have me a frozen meal because that's really what I feel like eating, honestly. So my one of my favorite frozen meals to eat is this one right over here. If you guys have never tried it, it's actually really good. I'm a carb person. You guys know that. So this is actually one of my favorites. This is just the Weight Watcher Smart Ones. Broccoli and cheddar roasted potatoes. I love it. It's so, so, so good. So I'm about to have that for lunch real quick. And uh, probably have it with a little side of grapes or something like that. And then um, that'll be my lunch until um, I'll probably have a little snack later. I actually got some, uh, what are they called? Some pretzels. Just because lately I've just been in this cheese mood. I've been eating like, um, I'll randomly like get a little baggie of Cheez-Its or something. Or I'll get like those goldfish. I love them. Love them for some reason. Have had an infatuation with them for the last few months. So I've just opted out of bringing those home and then just getting pretzels. So if I have like a salty craving, I can have pretzels. I know it's not high in fat. I just, you know, have a couple pretzel sticks and I keep it moving. That way I can get rid of the salty craving because I'm a salty girl. I'm not as much of a sugar person as juice is. So anyway, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and eat my food and do some dishes and take care of these dogs.
Ah, oh, just another day, y'all. Another nickel. Let's get it. Working out hard today, y'all. Really getting it in. Your girl done shucked all these damn scrimps, right? You know, the kind that we get from Sam's. It's frozen, that has a shell on it. You see shit on my face because I ate a shrimp. That being said, I just put some breading on it and the breading that I put on it, I thought was a breading you could bake. Turns out this is not the kind that you can bake. So this is the kind that you have to fry. So I done put it in the oven, assuming it was to bake. <laughs> you all know I've never fried a thing in my damn life, for real and they didn't turn out well that being said i'm going to make an attempt to fry up some shrimp which i don't even fry anything but because i started this process now i actually want to finish it like i literally started this process now i'm like well fuck it yolo i want to know how to fry it because it just don't make no sense that i don't know how to do this so anyway just gonna fry up a couple scrimps for the hubster really i was going to give him the leftover turkey because i really think that that's what got my stomach messed up for the last couple nights i mean it had nothing to do with the back but it does have everything to do with my um the way that i've been feeling stomach wise i personally think and i could be wrong you know but that's just my personal opinion that being said <laughs> your girl's gonna make an attempt at she's gonna make an attempt at trying to fry some shrimp so i gotta bread it i've got my oil ready to go or semi ready to go or whatever the fuck i know it's a mess right now but anyway oil yeah i don't know y'all i'm kind of scared not gonna fucking lie I, like i said i've never fried a thing in my life i don't own a fry daddy my girlfriend crystal y'all remember her from kansas my best friend out there she can fry till kingdom come me on the other hand i'm petrified of doing it so this is going to be interesting, but anyway, we're going to be having some, um, if this all pans out, we're going to have some, what do you call these, um, some sweet potato fries, which I should have kept the bag, but I got them from Trader Joe's. They're frozen sweet potato fries. Uh, I don't have the bag here. I threw it away. Anyway, um, next time I get them from the store, it's been a little while, I will show them to you. They're really, really, really good, and they're sweet potato fries, so they're healthier for you than regular fries. Um... I'm petrified of doing this, y'all, but I'm going to go ahead and start breading my my shrimp. I've never done this in my life, y'all. I don't think this is going to go over well, well. If not, I don't know what the fuck to do. I tried. This is the second batch of shrimp. The first I ruined. I ruined. I mean, I didn't ruin it. I just didn't know that the stuff that we were using was the baked. It was not the baking kind of breading because there's a kind that you can bake and then there's a kind that you bake and fry and then there's a kind you just fry and the kind that we used is the fry kind. So, yeah. Anyway. Wish me luck. I'll show you what it looks like when I get done. Oh, God. I feel like I'm making a mess, but take a look at the progress. Bam. Okay, that was my very first piece right there. And then those are some other pieces. I don't know if I'm doing that great of a job. And then, uh, yeah, here's what it looks like right now. I don't fry. The reason I don't fry is because it's just not healthy for you. And number two, because it spits at you and shit. But number one, because it's not healthy. So I'm not planning on doing this anytime soon. However, because I was kind of challenged by the fact that I fucked up the first batch, thinking that it was a baking thing, 
I wanted to challenge myself. You guys know I've been scared to fry or anything like that. So anyway, I don't know how it's gonna taste, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I'll let you guys know. I did a good job. I'm proud of myself. I've never fried a day in my life. Mmm. Mmm. Still soft on the inside, crispy on the outside, and not overdone. Yay, babe! That's a major fear of mine. Okay. We're making progress. Yay! All right. After that, after that hard ass workout, <laughs> back in the kitchen, and uh, you know, the wifey just told me she just fried some shrimp for the first time in her life. Seriously, I've Hallelujah. never fried a damn thing in my life. Hallelujah. You're so stupid. We're going. <laughs> but check it out, y'all. It came out pretty nice. We got some some fried shrimp, and we got some sweet potato fries. Oh shit! So we're frying tonight. And this shit is good, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. This shit is good. You like it? No, you got, you got anything to dip this stuff in? That's what I was looking for. I thought you know, dipping sauce. Some cocktail sauce or some tartar sauce, you know? You ain't got no dipping sauce? We got mayo. If we had relish, I would make like tartar sauce or. You can't eat I, mayo. I looked for. <laughs> oh, that's the seasoning, y'all. Shit. Mm. Oh, shit. We need some uh, tartar sauce to go good with that. Yeah, tartar sauce. You, know, you mean to tell me you know, this, tartar sauce all, is, these, all these damn bottles in this fridge and we ain't got no tartar sauce? No, I know, right? No, you know, tartar sauce is mayo and um, relish mixed. Do That's we have mayo and relish? No. <laughs> that would be a hell no. Got the red, y'all. Oh, delicious. So, yeah. Uh, Are you proud of me? I'd be prouder if we had some tartar sauce. Look, motherfucker, you better take some motherfucking ketchup and put some ketchup on this shit, nigga. How about that? Not a bad idea, actually. Thank you. Uh, let me get some of this ketchup out the uh, fridge. Yep, got some of that right here. I did buy ketchup now. I didn't know we were even making fried shrimp. It's about to be on, y'all. It's about to be on. You excited? Are you sure we ain't got no tartar sauce? You can look, nigga. Mm, I'll be all right with the ketchup. All right, let's uh, catch up, Kool-Aid, fried shrimp. And wifey. And wifey. Mm -hmm. uh, I can tell the weekend is almost here, y'all. Hell yeah. Just tell. Hell and I can't yeah. wait. I can't out. wait to get out. I can't wait to get and out. And the girl's feeling much better. Thank yep. you, Jesus. Sandy's feeling much better, which makes me feel much better. He was worried. You were worried about me. Yeah, because... Uh, She's feeling a little lightheaded or all that good stuff. So we got to make sure she's all right because if she's not all right, you know, the house is not all right. The dogs ain't all right. We not all right. All right. Now let's eat. <laughs> What's up? Wanted to say good night before we call it a wrap. Your boy's been trying to get to bed a little earlier because, um, you know, we were watching House of Cards and staying up super duper late. So. Anyway, I'm actually turning off everything and uh, I'm about to tuck my little man to sleep. And uh, mm. <laughs> my poor baby fell asleep. <laughs> you okay, babe? Yeah, yeah I'm all right. What time is it? Uh, probably about 11 o'clock or so. Oh, yeah, it's time. Yeah, yeah. Time to hit the hay. Yeah. You've been asleep for a good uh, 40 minutes, something like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, hey, we all now. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's time for me to go. Mm -hmm. Get these bright ass lights on. <laughs> Y'all know. Well, I gotta clean up a little bit before we go to sleep. So, I don't know how I'm gonna do in this bed or not. I'm not sure. Um, because today, when I woke up this morning, my back actually felt really, really, really good. So, um, better than it did. Well, my stomach wasn't the best, but my back was feeling a lot better today. So I don't know if I want to take a chance on getting back into that bed and my back being jacked up tomorrow morning at all because that totally fucked up my day. So I'm probably just going to rest out here for a little bit, watch a little TV. I'm watching one of my favorite movies in the entire world. I don't know if you guys know this, but besides Martin Lawrence, Living Single, Golden Girls, you know, the usual sitcom reruns that I absolutely love to watch. One of two of... There's a, I have a lot of favorite movies, but some of my favorite comedies 
are White Chicks. Durr, anybody who knows me knows. White Chicks is one of my all-time favorite movies in the entire world. I can watch it a million and one times and I still will never get sick of it. And Joanna Man, which is so random because it's not like this blockbuster hit. Not that, I don't know how far White Chicks went, but I know White Chicks seemingly went further than Joanna Man. If you guys have not seen Joanna Man, it's fucking hilarious. To me it is. I have no idea why, but it's fucking hilarious. Anyway, my sisters love it. It's been kind of a family favorite for a while, and it's actually on right now because I recorded a portion of it when I saw that it was on. So that's how I'm gonna go to sleep watching Joanna Man. I'll show you what it looks like. Joanna Man. Anyway, I love Joanna Man. You okay, babe? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm good. Get some rest? Oh yeah, I'm about to go get some more. I'm probably, um, I may meet you in there. I'm gonna just turn off all the lights and stuff like that. Uh, and just sit for a second, just to see. Oof, bet. Let me know what you do, because I know what I'm about to do. Yes. <laughs> I see right. booty cheeks coming out your pants, though. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you, my love. Oh. Sleep well, babe. I set the alarm, but double check it just to oh, be safe. Nice. Just double check it just to be safe. Make sure it's on AM and not PM. Okay, hon? Yeah. Love you. Love See you in the morning. Make sure this is off. Okay, good. Anyway. So yeah, y'all, um, yeah. I guess we're gonna see you tomorrow's Friday up in this motherfucker. Thank you, Jesus. So happy it's the fucking weekend and I have no idea what we're going to do. I do know that Sunday we are going to go to um, a family friend's house, either Saturday or Sunday. One of the I want to say it's Sunday. Um, shoot. Is it Sunday? Oh, I got to double check. It could be tomorrow for all I know. It could either be tomorrow or it's Sunday. Either way, it's sometime this weekend where um, we're supposed to go to my second mom's house. You guys haven't seen her in a long time. She's been in and out of town and stuff. But anyway... Um, she's not my real biological mother, but we have, you know, the Jamaican side of a family that's not blood related that we grew up with. So she's like my second mom. I have three moms, my main mom, of course, my mama, mama, and then my two other Jamaican moms. So, um, you don't see them very often on the vlog because, you know, they're, um, some of them are, you know, a couple of the family members are retirement age. They have kids in other states, so they take a lot of trips out of town to go visit grandkids and stuff. Same with, with my second mom, who you will probably see this weekend, depending on what day it is that we're supposed to go to this dinner, but we're supposed to go to a dinner party sometime at um, her house, sometime over the weekend. I'm either going on date night with Juice, which I'm not sure of. He actually wants to go out, out. You know, when we go to Dallas, he wants to like kind of reserve his energy for that, which I don't blame him because he's going to be with his brothers and stuff. Um, or I may just hang out with Laren. Um, we're supposed to link up sometime this weekend, so um, I don't want to go overboard spending a bunch of money though this weekend. So it might just be one or the other, you know what I mean? But um, any hoodle. That's the plan for the weekend. My family's back. My mom and dad are back from Florida. They've been gone for a while. They went on a little vacay. And we have a lot of family in Florida. A lot of family in Haiti. More of our families in Haiti, but some in Florida. And um, anyway, so my parents went to visit my aunts and uncles out there. So they are now back, and I talked to them for a couple of hours today. So yeah, so hopefully you'll see them probably tomorrow. I think they're going to come by. They haven't seen the room since we got it renovated, and I haven't seen my parents in forever, and I missed them when they were gone. So um, they may come by tomorrow or Saturday or something like that to go by and say, what's up? Anyway, I love y'all. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. I love y'all, and I will see y'all manana. Hope you guys had a great day, great night, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Love y'all.